The first ever interstellar object moving twice as fast as any comet we've ever observed with no tail with a shiny reflective surface that has an extremely unusual shape that's 10 times longer than it is wide. And they just want to ignore it. That seems silly. And it's flat, most likely flat, according yeah. to this. You don't think it's actually a ship. You think it's some sort of an object that's th like... Artificial. I don't know what it is. It could be just a surface layer. But there layer. was something about the way it was moving. Yeah, it, it was uh, pushed by sunlight, in my my view, just the, like this. The tumbling, though? It was tumbling, so it probably was not functional. You know, it right. could be a piece of uh, a surface layer of, of, of a spaceship that was ripped apart. So those mainstream astronomers that try to explain the observed properties of an example for an explanation that is natural was that it's a dust bunny. You know, the kind of thing you find in a household, the collection of dust particles and a hundred times less dense than air that is pushed by sunlight, very porous. That was an explanation um, of a natural origin. Why would it be so reflective? They didn't uh, discuss that. Then there was another suggestion that it's frozen hydrogen, like a, a hydrogen iceberg mm. and that evaporates, but Hydrogen is transparent, so you can't see the cometary tail. The problem with that is we showed in a scientific paper that it would not survive the journey because hydrogen can easily get uh, evaporated by starlight uh, impacting on its surface. So, you know, these are the kinds of ideas that were... And then there was another idea that maybe it's a piece of an object that was shredded by a star when it passed close to a star. But the problem with that is usually you get shrapnel or pieces that are elongated from such a disruption, whereas this object was most likely flat, according mm. to the analysis of the light curve. So, you know, these are the ideas of the mainstream astronomers that try to explain it as a natural origin.